capillary effect. Well, the, everybody knows somewhat capillary effect of the water. For example, you know the tree, the water from roots go up all the way to the top of the tree. The water goes up, nobody's pushing water, it's nobody's sucking up. How does it go to the top of the tree? That's a capillary effect. Now, when you paint, the brush get wet with the paint. It's contain plenty paint. So that's capillary, uh, capillary effect. Now another one, you may know it's simple experiment. The paper get wet, the water move up, and paper get wet. Okay, the paper, the water, never move from here to here. It just paper get wet, and sometimes you see the water dropping here by the um, gravity. Okay, so capillary effect is actually caused by two different things. Water affinity and the surface tension. What's the surface tension? You see water droplet always become round. Why? Because arbitrary shape become round because there is a surface tension. The surface is pulling so with that pulling energy this is a minimum energy state which is a sphere not like this okay so in order to make a water into this shape you need energy to do that like when water spatter on the floor it become like that that's the potential energy made a uh, sphere water droplet into spatter's shape. Now, without surface tension, there is the, the glass has a affinity of water. So it's water stick, but it looks like that without surface tension. The surface tension pull this guy up so that's why water goes up like that okay now in the mercury negative affinity so what happened is the glass repel the mercury here and if repel it's going to it doesn't look like that but there is a surface tension so this repairing force pull this area back down so it looks like this okay so we know we have two things affinity and surface tension to see the capillary effect now what the surface tension surface tension is we can easily measure say we have a water film here and this wire is movable okay then surface tension pull inward but you push this out so we can measure the surface tension easily the you know why we cannot make a bubble with water right because we inject the gas surface tension too strong it's bust And when you have a little bit of soap, then surface tension is eased. Less surface tension. That's why you can make bubbles using soap. Now, how much this goes up? This height is H. And let's calculate this radius is R. Affinity force is 2 pi r peripheral 
times t tension. Okay, then gravity of the water is density rho, rho g, and the height is h. And this is the area. If you equal this, you get height is 2t over rho g r. So, when r is small, water climbs up high. Okay, now, when the glass tube is very, very fine glass tube, you know water goes up here. Not so fine glass tube, water go up to here. Wide one, water go up to here. Okay? So, it's a function of, inverse function of R. So, I propose this kind of machine. You have a glass tube, and make a hole, the water drip out. And glass tube, make a hole, water drip out. You do, just cascade this, then water move up without energy. Is it possible? Let's spend a time uh, moment. Think about this. See if it works. You have a capillary action going on here. Water sucked up by affinity and water sur uh, surface tension. You make a hole, water drip out. This is a little bit higher. You cascade it. You can move higher and higher. Actually, somebody proposed this and not many people can point out where the theory is wrong. Can you tell? Now you need to know one more thing. Bernoulli principle. So what happened is, this is a Bernoulli's equation. Water moves up because there's no hole. Once you make a hole, what's happened? This pressure Atmospheric, atmospheric pressure exists here too. So if you make a, a line here and compare this state, according to Bernoulli's principle, the P is same. And there's no movement, so V is zero. So Z is zero. That means Z is zero. So the water doesn't go up. Water tension pull up the surface. And you have to think this way. Create a vacuum here. So the pressure push water up to here. But once you make a hole, the pressure disappear. So you may have a film of water here. But this is going to be empty because the air gets in. So conclusion is th this machine never works okay there's no free lunch without energy you can move the water higher location no this is against the the our uh, physics law okay so this subject contained surface tension water affinity and the Bernoulli's principle okay I hope you enjoy listening and please check other interesting topics. Thank you for listening.